Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So, I was going to make a quantum ring today, but I discovered a problem, and that's this one. Let's have a look for quantum ring. Quantum, I think, with an M. So, basically, that's no problem. We made the internet, that one. This one here, the link chamber, well, maybe we can make that. Let's have a look. So we need some flux pearls. I'm not sure if they've got other uses of these things. Let's just see if we can make some of those. Well, we could do if we got some dust. Let's make some dust. Here we go. It keeps jumping them down. Sand. Let's make a hundred of those. Oh, no, not so many. Ten. That would actually need sixteen. Now, the next thing I would like to have made was this one. Quantum ring. But this doesn't work. So, <laughs> well, that's a problem. I asked, and it seems it's not been deliberately broken. It just doesn't work, which is very strange. So I tried that also on a crafting table. Um, do that ourselves with a, on a crafting table because all the bits are there. And here's a vanilla crafting table up here. So let's just try that one. I think I can do it from here. Where's it gone to? Oh no. We'll just put the bits in manually. I think it's like this. And it still doesn't work. Double check the recipe just to be absolutely sure. Yep. You see, you can. Oh, that was weird. Let's just do that again. Because that was very strange. Didn't I just do this last time? Okay, it took everything off. But they got the right recipe. Anyway, it doesn't work. So that's basically put. And I don't think this one. We could try this one now, see if this actually does work. Oh, we need a fluid. We need four of those, don't we? So that would we need. We need 16 dust. I don't think I'll waste the time. Because if they can't get the rings, can't get those. It's, at least at the moment, we're stuck. So, bugs go in both directions. I'm not going to cheat them in because it's a broken. So let's go and now have a look at what we're going to do for rockets. So tier three. This one here, we need 10, 10 of these heavy duty plates and heavy duty plates tier two. Now, I've already got a crafting recipe for heavy duty plates, I think. We did that earlier on. We've got one of those. So we can craft some more of those. So let's say. say I think we need 20 in total so we'd actually next and that would actually craft those up no problem we also need some steel plates and i do not see a recipe for steel plates do i let's just have a look at that again that's basically this one steel plates from tech reborn okay that's just a shapeless crafting recipe that's interesting so we've got some refined iron plates. Let's see if we've got some refined iron plates in the system. We don't have any at the moment. Let's craft one of these. Ah, no CPUs available as usual. Let's just check what's going on in the CPUs. Okay, that's making the templates as we expect. This one here is making aluminium ingots. Shouldn't go too long. Well, stacks of them. I'm not sure why it's making so many aluminium ingots. Is that making them because of this? Oh yes, it probably will be. It's scheduled them off to make these heavy duty plates. So we have to just basically wait for those. That's a bit of a nuisance. Um, or we can make our own. Let's do our own for a start. So let's have a look. Refined iron. I haven't got any, I haven't got any ingots either. Oh. Um, because it's crafting refined iron at the moment, so, so we basically got stuck on that one. I've only got 68 to go. All oh, right, I'll have to wait for these these heavy duty plates to, to come up. So that's not so good. All right, what else can we do? So, I've been 
stuck on a few things though, aren't we? Let's have a look outside. I went to the. I did set up the. Let's have a look at the moon of mining. Let's come visit that because I have set it up. We'll wait a few seconds for this to actually kick in. And it says there are mobs around straight in front of me, but I don't care about those because they're underground and it hasn't rendered a, rendered anything in here. But this is actually working, I think. Let's go and have a look. If we just walk along here, this stuff should render in as we get near it. Yep, yeah, it is. And this should also be working. I'm not sure where the where it is. Let's wander down and have a quick look. While, of course, the this waystone warp stone is actually recharging there, I can see. I can see the end of it, but I can't see it in the other direction yet. So maybe it's over that side. We can easily check anyway. Look at what's coming in here. But I'm sure it's working, but because uh, I saw some stuff when I started the episode coming in, we'll double check it. So let's check this thing first of all. That's got plenty of power, so that's okay. This has got power, and this doesn't seem to be actually doing anything. Huh. It should be. Let's just take another one of these spot loaders out of the system here. Let's just check where we are in terms of chunks. Well, as far as I can see, it should well be inside this one, so there should be no problems. Let's just put another one down on the other side of this chunk boundary, just in case. And that'll load it in. Oh, you see, there it's starting to get some moon dirt, and this is the only more, this is the only mine we've got, so it should be working here somewhere. Just can't see it at the moment. Let's go and wander down. I think it's over here somewhere. Let's get the RF big axe in hand and turn off those. But the rendering on these quarries isn't always 100% perfect anyway, so if you're not seeing it doesn't mean it's not working. Because it's not flat yet, as we can see. Should be near the end of it now. It is this exactly, and as you can see here, it's actually it's done some mining, but it's actually not done everything. And of course, where it's got gaps like this, it can go on for quite a long time before it actually finds a a place to actually quarry. I'm sure it's working anyway. I think it is. I hope so. If not, it's a pain. But it looks like it from the map that it's actually got sort of flattened all over. If you see what I mean. But I can't see where the arm is, as it were. And I don't also see why we're getting these... These portals, I think the portals are actually related to um, the warp stones, but that's just my idea. These here, I'm sure they're just related to the warp stones, and I'm not sure if I break it, what, what'll happen to produce creates another one. So let's have a look at this again. Well, I don't, yeah, it seems to be working. Of course, there's sulfur ore. Moon rock. I wonder where sulfur ore is coming from. Hmm, okay. Never mind. We shall go back, in, we shall go back to the moon base in a few seconds, and hopefully by then, the um, those heavy duty plates have actually been made. 
So look, it should tell me, okay, seven seconds. Because what I think the next thing to do really is to get on and do the tier three rocket moon base. And this is going to take quite a few seconds to load up. So now maybe we can make some refined iron plates and I'll set up a crafting recipe for those. Let's have a look. Can we craft some of these? Yes, we can, good. I only want one to start with. With just one, we can basically set up the recipe for the other one. Now it's a shapeless crafting recipe, so I think if I just set it up like that. Yep, that's all we need to do. If I can get through the doorway, that is. I'm a bit short on slots in here, by the way. Look at it. Oh, because I was making some, I was making some patterns for the stuff that we can't actually do. So I'll remove the ones that we can't do. So we've actually got two more slots free. So now we can craft 64 of these steel plates. Let's do that then. In fact, I don't really need 64, but we'll do 64 anyway. Start. So, heavy duty plates, we've got eight. We've got ten in total. I think that was still crafting some. Yes, it should be doing one more. I thought it would be. Good. In fact, that's already done. So now we can take this recipe here and we can set up our next one. So I think that's a processing recipe. So let's change it over. So it's one of those plus 64 of the Ah, I never made the plates, did I? I've got 53 in stock already. I'll just wait for those to finish because it's going to take a few seconds and then they're done. And that will make a heavy duty plate tier 2. Let's have a look. Duty plate tier 2 is that's tier three we can't make that one yet I don't think because that's the one we need for the other stuff oh it's my heavy dash duty tier two good so that's correct so we can then bring one of these into the into the system like that and we can at least start to craft set those up So now we have another recipe for that, so we shall try and get some of those built. I think I've got uh, no slots in there. I've got some slots in here, good. In fact, let's take the, the plate out of here that we've got in here and put the other plate into here as well. So now we should be able to craft some heavy duty plates tier two and then update the recipe for that. We only need one. Start that. And of course it's going to come, end up with a recipe that's not going to work. But that should in fact come over here. Already be in the machine. So we should be able to do that already. As you can see. Yes, we've got the, everything set up there. In fact. That's okay. Oh, I know. I was basically looking at the recipe here for doing a compressor. And I've decided I'm not sure about it, so I'll leave it up for the time being. So let's see if we can then also set up the recipe for the... So we should have a tier 2 plate in here now. Got one of those, fantastic. And I'm also going to craft one of these. Because, start. I moved it across from one machine to the other. So I moved it from this one here, so we can remove it from here. And we can put it into here when it comes in. Which will take a few seconds. So let's take out the recipe for this 64 and fix that one. So basically it's just one. Oops, I did it in the wrong order. I'm going to put it back again. Let's just put one in there. So that will update the recipe. 
So now we have the correct number of recipes in there. And then we can come along here because we're going to have to cancel the, the previous one because it still thinks it's got 63 to do. So we cancel that one. And then we can fix the recipe in here like this. Oh, <laughs> try again, that one. So those are every bit made and prepared now. In fact, hold on, I didn't check whether it was ready to do its stuff yet. No, it's not ready to do its stuff because we haven't got that last recipe in here. How's it doing? Okay, it should be ready. It's got one to go. And that's the only item being processed. Yes, now that you see everything's in place, so we can then click that one on and then that recipe is then ready so we can make some more of these and so we actually need to make in order to make our tier 3 rocket this one I think we are we need to make some titanium we can do that as well iron holes and aluminium holes machine holes I think I've already got those recipes set up so let's just see if we can actually do that so let's have a look for holes. Yes, I've got one steel hole, 64 and eight aluminium. Now the aluminium ones are actually reasonably expensive. We needed, what, 32 was it? Let's double check that again. Yes, we need 32 aluminium holes. Let's see if we can craft 32 of those. Minus that with 24. Minus the eight. And we're short of blocks of aluminium. Now, these are the foundry ones. So let's see if we can sort that out as well as it happens. Because it is actually being a bit of a nuisance. So I would like a hole. That's the titanium one. Is the aluminium one. So we need foundry blocks. So we can chisel them. And that would swap the two over. We can use the metal caster. It's from liquid or molten aluminium, I presume that'll be the correct type. We can all convert it, of course, which will is probably the way we might need to do it. I'm just trying to think because no, nope, I think we're gonna to have to use the metal caster for this. Okay, let's get some aluminium out of here then. Um, I actually need the aluminium f this one the fluid template so let's go and get this one organized so my metal caster is this one it, oops can't get off it's this one here isn't it yes it is so if we flick that into there just shift left click it by the way and then we'll get blocks of aluminium. Now they'll come out and they'll come into here. So we need a lot of them. So let's just put this into the filter here because we're going to have tons like that. So now molten aluminium should be coming into here like that, which it is. And it's starting to make blocks. The blocks are going to end up into this chest here. But really, I'd like to bring them out and put them back into the, into the A2 system. So what I'm going to do is just put an import bus on this like this. We've got plenty. <laughs> Look at that, once it's connecting to that. Let's just make sure it doesn't want to connect to that. Can I do it with this one? No, I can't. Yes, rinse will do it. Like that. So then we just connect it up here. <laughs> wants to do it again let's just click this one off as well right good just looks confused it just looks strange so anything in here of course is going to then be imported into the system to have a quick look so all the blocks have gone it's a bit of a round robin system but it's as you see we're going to get those fairly quickly now actually were they the right type let's double check what we've actually got
Yes, it's making foundry blocks. So if we try crafting these again, 24. So it's got missing 592. So that's going to take quite some time to actually do its stuff. So we've got 176. So you see it's gone up one. So if I do that again, it should tell me 24. We've got 177. So as you see, it's still work. It's working away. But those are very, very quite slow. Those uh, mechanisms. In fact, what have we got for ingots? We've got these tech reborn ones. What do these make? If I actually try putting those together, it makes tech reborn. Okay. Never mind. We'll have to wait for that. There's nothing else we can do. In fact, what I'm going to do while I'm waiting for this stuff is to put these into here like this. Why do I put my patterns not in there? Probably in the top one. Yep. Yeah. Oops, wrong one. Where's the pattern go to? There. Good. Sort that out. And I've got some other bits and pieces I want to put away. Let's put those away. I don't need those. Actually, I don't even need to make 20. I can actually get away with much less. I'll make away 16. With our aluminium frame, so that's no big deal. Probably should put an interface on there then, in that case. Nah, we'll do it this way. Because to make 500 blocks is going to take a really long time. And we've got. I don't think we've got any shortage of aluminium, so look. 21,000 buckets, now we've got no shortage. It's just time that it takes its toll on that one. Now, next one, titanium dioxide. Let's get some um, bone meal out of here. Oops, bone meal, got 52,000 bone meal. Now, if we decompose this, we stand a chance of getting um, titanium. So let's try getting some titanium. It should get titanium oxide, but I don't think it's consistent hold on a minute we'll check that for that so look at uses of this one so we want the decomposer metal infuser what does that do makes white dye okay so this says here it's a hundred percent chance let's try that oops wrong way because we've got a decomposer here used for ad hoc stuff and let's put this bone meal into here like that so if that's correct then we get 64 nope it works fine so it is a hundred percent chance and then of course what we have to then do is decompose this to get our titanium we'll get 64 which will give us four basically gives us four ingots worth how many ingots do we need for titanium hull 32 plates so we need 32 so that basically means <laughs> I think that's wrong can't be oh yeah that was weird so that'll give me four we need 32 plates so we need another 20 we can do that easily so actually let's just do that so I think it's just three stacks I'll take four for, for an extra one and then come down and put that into here again. Let's put the rest into the hopper up here. And then we can take the titanium out of here. Ah, this is a synthesizer, isn't it? Let's just take this recipe out of that because we don't need that recipe for the time being. And then put the titanium in here. So let's split it into four. I don't think it matters where we put it actually. So we'll get four ingots of titanium, which we can then go and roll. And the rolling machine is over here, I think. Metal former. Ah, uh, metal former's over here. The three together, aren't they? And I'm not going to bother with this too much because. Yep, yeah, we're getting titanium plates. We've got four titanium plates, that's just great. 
So this is going a bit slow, of course, because it's running out of... Oh. Let's do the bone wheel like this. Let's take the titanium oxide out of here. Actually, there is a shortcut key for this, and I don't know what it is, where you can shift-click everything out. So that was four. That was four for one stack. I'm just going to right, so need eight stacks. Right, okay, haven't got enough. And I don't want to set up more machines for doing this, because it's... I reckon this is really just a one-off. So bone meal. We've done three. We've done five stacks. That'll should do it. We might even have some titanium in here anyway. Have we got enough? Look, thirty-seven. So I won't bother with any more of those. I'll just go and put these bone meal downstairs and flatten off the others. Can just let those go off. So we'll just roll out these. We just need 24, don't we? I was, yes, I don't remember why I was doing this because I was trying to do the compressor. Uh, oh, again. I was trying to make some armor, some titanium armor, but we need four of that 18. He's 32, basically. It's 24 we need, don't we? At least it was 13 ingots. Of course, they're getting... Ah! I'll tell you what, I'm going to shift them all through. Oops, again. Press T in the wrong place. We've got 41. Okay, so we got another star. Huh. Right, I'm going to put another star th before I do anything else. If I haven't done it before, I'm going to put it into here. So we got the recipe stored anyway. But I don't know whether you can store these plates in here. No, there's nothing in that one. So there's no crafting recipe for that. I'm suffering from a bit of lag. So now, let's do these. That's right. And one of the other stars should make a titanium hole. Is that correct? Yes. Let's go and put that into the network. It's the only one I've seen, so it's the only, only time so I'm not messing around making special recipes for this. Like that. We can click that one in. What's the power usage? Probably astronomical. Yeah, fairly big. <laughs> 1.5 billion or something like that. So that'll take a while. So what else have we got to do for that rocket tier 3? So this one's hard. Steel hull, we've got 32 aluminium machine hulls we can't yet do. Maybe we can do 16 of those now. So we've got 16. Can we do 32 with it? 16 more. Now we're short of 301 blocks of aluminium. What a large amount. So go over. Nope, they'll be coming in, so I don't need to worry about that. Next thing on our rocket, what else can we do? Can we do the fins? Oh, four fins. Well, it's just the steel holes which are the problem in this one. Let's have a look. We've got one steel hull. How much does it cost to make another one? We're short of dash. We've got 187 and we're short of 101. And that's just for one. We've got everything else. Plates and all the works. What's it actually want to craft in here? It wants some iron, oxygen, carbon. That presumably means it's trying to do some steel. Available 32. I need to go and check something over here. Yes. This is basically not doing any more because I've got the storage bus on top of it. What I could do, of course, is to put a toggle bus in this. So then it wouldn't um, 
we could turn it off so it would automatically export that's one of those weirdo things I don't fully understand so what else can we do in our rocket this one no I don't think we can do this at all because we need 20 20,000 milli buckets of bedrockium now I don't think we can make one bedrockium at the moment oh yes we can good we got available for let's get that working let's have a look how many of these can we actually make so now we're actually short of four what I would do with this of course is I will use the same cheating mechanism as I've been done before that exploit because it's just a question of time and I don't want to wait for it to be honest with you this is the cheating mechanism back here in case you didn't see this before you can add any tank at the bottom here like this input bus and of course you can do it like this and you just get your bottle your blocks no problem at all and if I want to make some more capacitors to upgrade these that's no problem either let's have a look at this oh I've got a capacitor now that's strange Let's go and get one out because I know I've got a spare capacitor. Let's clear that off as well. I don't need that one. I've got one of each. Good. Let's put one of those into here so we actually get more power. Let's check what the power situation is doing on this thing. It's going up. Slowly, but it is going up. So we've got 63 billion RF in there at the moment. Yep. Yeah. Oops. Well, I'm going to have to say goodbye. Because I'm sure my time's up. And basically what I'm going to carry on doing next is to carry on doing this rocket stuff. Because I don't see anything else we can do at the moment until we've actually gone somewhere else. So until next time, I'm going to say bye for now.